Hi, I'm Helen Bailey from the Engineering and Physical Sciences Research Council. I'm here at the Royal College of Art, where scientists and designers have been working together to create the Impact Exhibition. This exhibition is full of amazing ideas, and those ideas are based on really fundamental scientific concepts, principles, and, and research. And some of the ideas are pure fiction, and some of them may become reality. A few of the exhibits have really caught my imagination. Um, one in particular is the fifth dimensional camera, which is based on quantum information processing um, at the universities of Oxford and Bristol. And what the designers have managed to do is to take some really complex science that I've never managed to get my head around, presented in a way that is accessible and that anyone can relate to by using a camera. When you fire it, it captures all these parallel universes and brings us back these images of our different worlds. The camera has been given to a girl who's taken it home with the instructions to go out in the morning, set the timer of the camera to fire in the evening and go out and come back in the evening and write on a piece of card in front of the camera the things that she did during the day. So what comes back are the many divergent timelines that happen from the morning when she set the camera timer to the point when it fires. So she can then go through these images and see what might have happened, whether that's, you know, she might have won the lottery, uh, you know, missed the bus and, and not made it to work. It's more about really challenging our, our sense of place in the universe. designers and scientists, they come from very different worlds and so to get them speaking the same language was I think the first challenge that a lot of them came across. Translating a very complex science into something accessible to the general public. 3D integration research is all about you know going 3D and designing integrated 3D uh, circuits. So by etching the flat sheets of metals and folding them up to create the 3D environment this process also reflects the, uh, the research itself, so that's what I found interesting. Nuclear fission is a science that provokes strong opinions, so we tried to create a more informal environment using the nickname of uh, uranium oxide, which is yellow cake, to create a sort of tea setting where people can have a dialogue about nuclear power without the formal setting of a public consultation. Over the last 10 or 20 years, nuclear in the UK has gone down and down and down. And now with new reactors and nuclear seen as a low carbon energy resource, suddenly there's a huge interest in it. And actually one of the critical things is having the skilled people to follow on old fogies like me. To, to actually deliver nuclear and make sure the waste can be managed and we have the electricity resources that we need. So this is really about training next generation scientific leaders in any and all aspects of nuclear fission science and technology. The fact that people don't realise that you know, there's radioactivity all around us, uh, which we think is terrifying. The idea that you could build, let's say for example, you know, um, a fun park around a, a power station, you know, is really quite an interesting idea. Is there anything else that's caught your eye today? Well, I think the bees are very interesting. The idea of using bees for you know, a, a threat to our security, you know, surveillance. This, this project over here where you can use infrared cameras to uh, model how people are, are, are behaving, the way they move around a room or around a building. The researchers have been really positive. Some of them in particular are looking to find ways to carry on working with their designers into the future, to use their designers as a way of engaging the public in their research or how to demonstrate their research and disseminate their research way beyond the lifetime of this project. I mean, that's a fantastic outcome for everyone involved. 